Hey y'all, Jeremy from the Archery Shack. I got a quick video for y'all. Uh, it's a common question we get, and it is when we sell our custom strings, should I get speed knocks or speed sleeves? So a speed sleeve is actually a Nitro Button XL from Pine Ridge Archery, it looks like that. And a speed knock is your typical string knock. You probably can't see that, but just your typical brass string knock. Uh, I'll tell you a couple quick differences on the the feel of the shot and then we'll look at some weight differences and stuff like that real quick. So I always tell people the sleeve, you know, of course is made out of rubber, so it will absorb any, uh, well not any, but some string twanginess if you have any, um, but the speed knot actually weighs a lot more. So you'll see some of these newer bows just in particular like the Hoyts and the Matthews and they, they might have 20 or even up to 30 speed knocks crimped on there and what I usually recommend to people is if you've got one of those bows I would probably stick with the speed knock because they're looking to put that exact weight on that string in that exact spot to get the most performance out of it but if you've got a little bit older bow that maybe has three or six speed knocks crimped on each end you've kind of got a choice of which way to go uh, a lot of the Hoyt, I mean, a lot of the elite bows came from the factory and still do with these sleeves. And I would, I would stick with those on those bows because I've talked to some of the engineers from Elite, and they said, yeah, the knot was pushing the string too far forward and causing some issues. So definitely on the elites, if your bow came from the factory, stick with the sleeve. On the new, mainly the Hoyts and the Matthews, if it's got, if you see a ton of speed knocks crimped on there, stick with the brass speed knocks. Uh, on other bows, you know, maybe you've got three speed knocks or whatever, you've got a choice. So um, what we've noticed is you may lose one or two feet per second if you go with the sleeve, but you may also get a less twangy sounding uh, shot if you have that problem. Of course, you can still use the speed knocks and tie on a different silencer. Um, let's look at a scale real quick, and I'll kind of show you the weight differences on the, the speed sleeve versus the speed knock. Okay, so let's start with a sleeve. Now this is, you would think would weigh more because it's a big long rubber piece. So that's 16 and a half grains. And then just one brass knock is five point, well, we're losing, we got something going on, hang on. We didn't zero. Let's try this again. Okay. We're looking at, a, I'm sorry, it keeps getting blurry. About five and a half, half grains per knock. And of course, you're going to have multiple knocks. So you're going to end up with more weight. They also, so this is what the Nitro Button XLs come, look like packaged. Comes two to a pack. If you were to order them and install yourself, it comes with that little cotter pin and you just slide them over the loops. They also just came out with these and I have not tested them yet, but they're supposed to weigh a little bit more. Uh, it replaces three brass knocks. And these weigh 23 grains a piece. The cool thing about the nitro buttons and these new speed bombs is you can get them in a ton of colors. Definitely check out Pine Ridge's website. And with the knock, typically we just put black or white shrink tubing over it. And this is just an old school knock like you would crimp on a string before loops were commonly used. So hopefully that answered a few questions. Um, you know. If you're worried about the sound of the string, maybe go sleeve. If you're worried about keeping it sort of the same weight and the most speed, go speed knock. I will say we went back and forth over the years, but as of right now, uh, we're in, what is this, 2021, we definitely do more speed knocks than sleeves. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're wondering about colors, we keep all the colors of the sleeves in stock. Just check out Pine Ridge's website. I mean, there's all sorts of bright colors, and now they came out with some brown and OD green colors. It's pretty cool. Um, and if you have any questions and don't know what to do, of course, just reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer either way we can. But if you order on archershackstrings.com, you need a, a new string, it'll give you that option. Would you like the knocks or the sleeves? So just let us know how we can help. Hopefully this video helped a little bit, and we'll see you all tomorrow.